It's a relatively small, pristine ecosystem. Nestled in the Southern California hills, this creek is home to many small animals. Even though humans live nearby, the area enjoys relative peace in obscurity. Water is of course what supports a delicate life that calls this nestled stream home. The Southern California tree frog and its cousin, the Pacific tree frog, find a plentiful source of small insects for food. Their ability to successfully continue to live in this area is evidence to how clean their water source is. The California tree frog looks like granite stones or gray tree bark. It's abundantly found near streams. The Pacific tree frog is smaller and it's known for its distinctive croak and the stretching of its vocal sac when they call out from the water. The croaking attracts the females when they're ready to mate. They're easily identified by the black streak across their eye and they can change their tone seasonally to better match their surroundings. Amphibians like these are quite common throughout the world. However, the California newt, although not endangered, is more a rare sight in these parts. They can be seen co-inhabiting the deeper, calmer waters with tadpoles. They seem to enjoy a peaceful existence without worries. That can be attributed to their poisonous mucous membrane that can be deadly to most mammals and even humans. One wouldn't want to ingest this mucus as it could make for a very bad day. Perhaps this is why other mammals leave the newt alone. They have very few predators. They roam the bottom of the calm waters and every few minutes surface for a breath of fresh air. The water comes from snowfall, melting above the mountains, and it trickles down through this stream and on down to the ocean. It will soon dry up as summer presses on. Starting in late December of the next year, all these amphibians will begin to mate and lay their eggs. It's a cycle that has continued for many generations in this area. <laughs> 